गाइज वॉट्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट स्क्रॉल एनिमेशन दैट हाउ यू कैन गिव अ स्क्रॉल एनिमेशन ऑन योर वेब पेज विदाउट यूजिंग एनी लाइब्रेरी और फ्रेमवर्क इट इज अ प्योर जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड वैनिला जावा स्क्रिप्ट प्रोजेक्ट सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ वेरी a uh, simple and uh, a very small web page and yeah here we have given a scroll animation so uh, you can see that this uh, uh, text is and this button will be having the scroll animation and using this you can then give any element the animation you want so yeah without wasting time let's begin and let's open our visual studio code so we are in my visual studio code now and yeah i have uh, three files one is uh, javascript another is css and one is html file so now let us uh, begin uh, with our java uh, html file and first of all let us write a uh, boiler code and yeah here let us give this uh, a title scroll animation animation and then uh, we uh, should first of all uh, link our uh, uh, css file and our javascript file with our html file so i will be using link tag uh, to link my css file and uh, then i will be using script tag to link my javascript file so yeah after linking uh, let us uh, first decide that what all things we want so uh, first of all uh, we will be uh, building a header and yeah here will be and a header image that means we will be building a header with header image and uh, text so uh, this will help us to debug our code when there will be a lengthy code it is a small project so if you want you can use these techniques or you can just go with uh, the flow Uh, but i recommend that to uh, try to give this technique in your small projects also because that makes the project clear for you and for other one who is reading your project and uh, second it will help you to debug your own code when you will be building large uh, projects so uh, there will be another session and yeah this section will be having some text a uh, button button and uh, of course a uh, image so after deciding what all things we want on our web page now let us uh, build it uh, using tags so first of all i will be giving a header tag and this header tag will be having one div with uh, class uh, heading h e a d i n g heading and yeah here i will be having one h1 uh, which will be saying welcome to my portfolio portfolio web page web page and yeah uh, let me just uh, and then we will be having one uh, p tag which will be having some dummy text so let me just shorten this text because we don't want uh, this much amount of thing over there so yeah uh, we will be keeping it till here and yeah we are good to go uh, so our header is completed we added the text and this image will be the background image so that we will be giving using css file so after completing the header let us move to our session and yeah we will be using section and this will be having one div with 
class uh, text uh, because this div will be having those uh, text and that button in it so i will be giving this div uh, the class of text and yeah here also i will be using one h1 which will be having the name of the person jennifer and yeah uh, then we will be okay it's jennifer and then we will be having one hr and after the hr we will be having one p tag which will be having the description so yeah lauren and just put a tab okay lauren and a tab so it will automatically generate the uh, dem uh, dummy text for you in the uh, visual studio code so after giving this uh, div everything we will be having one okay uh, okay uh, after giving this text basically we will be having one br and yeah after this br we will be having our button so let me put a button and this will be saying explore so we are done with our session and uh, no, uh, we basically we are done with the text and the header part now we have to attach our image so i will be using image tag and yeah for this we will be going to our uh, okay first of all let us see this much in our visual studio uh, in our browser with the help of live server so yeah so we have this uh, uh, thing still now on our web page and uh, now we have to find a image for our uh, uh, background of header and we need to find an image for the person so i will be using a splash and yeah uh, there will be okay so we will be selecting people and okay let me search for it people and we will be selecting orientation pro portrait and yeah i use this image so yeah for this i will be using the same image so i will be just copying the image address from unsplash and yeah going to my visual studio code and here i will be pasting that address in src and here i can write men image or something like that yeah so we are done with our html file as you can see we have every element that we want to show up in our file right now so now it's time to move on css and give this a bit some styling I can uh, directly give the scroll effect right now also, but uh, it will be good if you just uh, style it because yeah, it looks good and it it makes interesting to then again do some works in it. So I will be going to my CSS file and uh, first of all I will be removing all the margins and paddings which is given to my page by the browser. So I will be selecting the root element and yeah then i will be saying padding zero margin zero box sizing border and yeah for family send serif so let me save and let me see this yeah so after my uh, root element now i will be selecting the header and yeah this header will be having a background image so i will be using background and with the help of url i can give any image to my header so i will be again moving to unsplash and yeah this time i will be selecting aesthetics and uh, the uh, orientation will be landscape and yeah then i will be finding some better image so i guess i selected that time um a image of a camera right so let me search for the camera image okay where is 
yeah this image i selected the same image so i will be copying this image url and yeah simply pasting it in my visual studio code okay uh one more thing if you want to just decrease the size and the pixels of the image by your own then first download the image then modify the image according to yourself and then you can uh, put that image on the uh, using url you can put that image on your web page but uh, for this dummy project i will be simply copying the image from the unsplash and will be using the same image so now let us save this and yeah let us see our web page so you can see that it is very ugly coming and it is not at all uh, visible on our page so to make it look great on our web page let us give some stylings to it so first of all i will be giving width 100 percent to my header okay 100 percent and yeah then i will be giving a height of 100 vh h e i g h t height of 100 vh and yeah background size will be covered so that it covers the whole uh, thing that i want so yeah right now it's uh, cool to go and uh, now let us uh, uh, just align this uh, text on our header so for that i will be using text align text align um, center S-E-N-T-E-R center and then i will be using color a uh, whitish color let's use alice blue so it's in the center but not in the middle so for that i will be selecting the heading okay uh, this uh, was the class name i gave to my div yeah where these two elements were present so i will be uh, selecting this class and using this class i will be giving it a position of absolute and top 50% left 50% and uh, yeah transform transform translate minus 50% comma minus 50% now let us see this yeah it's coming nicely but you you have noticed that uh, uh, in my previous image there was a black and a purple shade on my uh, uh, header image but right now it's uh, clearly whitish so to do that i just use linear gradient l i n e a r linear gradient and yeah gradient and yeah using this linear gradient i simply give this 120 degree and uh, then i selected a black color and a purple color which was having a value of uh, 27 13 and 2 to 4 so it was r g b a and yeah it was 27 comma 24 comma 224 okay it was 30 basically so 27 13 224 and yeah i will be also giving this uh, opacity opacity of uh, something 0.3 around and yeah this black will be also having an opacity and uh, let us give this uh, yeah so this uh, was done using linear gradient so after doing this let us move or oh, let us increase this a bit now let us see this yeah it's look much better now so after doing this let us uh, move to our uh, session part and yeah let us style that so first of all i will be selecting the session 
and uh, then I will be giving this a uh, display of flex because I want my items to be aligned uh, it's like in a row and uh, that's why I will be using display flex so after this I will be giving this uh, justify content of uh, space uh, around or let us use evenly and then align items of uh, center and then the height of uh, 100 VH so now let us see our this thing okay uh, to make it more clear and make it more visible I will be using a background color for my session for just now and then we can get rid of it when we are done with it so after doing this let us adjust the width and height of our image so i will be moving to my html file and yeah there i will be giving this uh, image some width and some height so let me give this a width of 350 pixels and a height of uh, 500 pixels so yeah, now it's a very cute little bit image because it was very enlarged. So we just try to make it fit for our page. You can give any width and height as per your projects. So after, okay, let us close all these sides and yeah. So after this, let us come to our style.css and yeah, here we can give uh, it a uh, Okay, uh, now let us uh, just uh, give this uh, te uh, text diff some stylings. Like, uh, let us first of all give this a uh, width because uh, it is uh, taking a lot of space over here. So, let us select the width uh, text and yeah, here let us give this a uh, width of 500 pixels. So yeah, right now it's better than before and uh, after doing it, let us give the font uh, size and everything to our text. So yeah, font size and let us keep this 16 pixels and then we will be using, okay, uh, let us see the effect. Fine, uh, now we have to give uh, the font size for this uh, heading a different and then let us code uh, some styles for our button. So first of all, I will be selecting my font uh, h1 using dot text and then h1. So it's like text ka h1. So after doing this i will be giving this a font size of uh, hmm, let us give this 36 pixels and uh, then let us uh, select uh, our this uh, text and let us give this a light shade so i will be again selecting the text and then this time i want to style my p tag and yeah here i will be giving this a color of gray or something yeah gray will be great so we are done with our this form sort of thing uh, we just want to give some paddings uh, because uh, it is not uh, that much uh, great or let's first of all style this hr yeah so i will be selecting the hr tag and yeah here i will be giving this a uh, margin i want top and bottom margin to be one rm and uh, left and right should be zero and then i will be giving this a uh, border of uh, none and then i want this uh, border bottom should be uh, of one pixels because I just want to bottom uh, bottom bottom uh, bottom border I don't want the whole border 
So I will be okay. Uh, B O R T E R border and yeah, bottom and let me give this a value of one pixel solid and let us give this a gray shade only. So I will be saying gray, but oh, wait. We will be having uh, some changes. Yeah. Now let us see this. Okay. It 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 really don't look like what I was expecting. So let me give this. Uh, okay. It should be N O N E none, and that's why it was not great. So let us give this a light shade much lighter than this and yeah let us give this also some value like hmm. so i guess this will work for us let us remove this and then see the effect yeah it's much better so now it's time to uh, give stylings to our button and then we will be just uh, giving some uh, styles to uh, we will be just moving to javascript and making our text scroll animate on scroll so let us select our button and let's give style to it so I have just selected the button with the button tag because I was having just one button on my screen. If you have more than one button, then try to give them some class name or some ID name and then you can manipulate the buttons uh, separately using those class names and ID names. So yeah, B-U-T-T-O-N button. And after selecting this button, I will be giving a it's some uh, width first of all because yeah we prefer giving widths very much so <laughs> let us give this a width of 150 pixels and then let us give uh, this uh, some font size also so i will be giving this a font size of uh, 20 pixels only yeah now let us see the button so it's having a perfect width but it's not having a padding or margin something sort of that so for that i will be using padding and yeah we will be giving this a value of 0.5 pixels and uh, yeah after this okay let us give this an rem yeah now it's better so now let us give this a background color and uh, this will be having a background color of purple because we have given some shady colors to our header and that was in a purple shade and so I will be using the same uh, thing over here also. So yeah, I will be simply using RGB and uh, this time we will be having a color of uh, 88 56 and 231 so 88 comma 56 comma 231 now let us see if this and let us see yeah so first of all let us give this border of none because i want to get rid of these lines okay it's still on my page why so after giving this a uh, border of none uh, i will be also giving this uh, uh, text color white so i will be using color and yeah let's give this honeydew yeah we should explore all type of whites the way we explore all type of blacks so back to the point uh after giving this a uh, color of honeydew we will be using uh some font weight and letter spacing to look the text more brighter so i will be using font weight of uh, 700 i guess and yeah letter spacing of course 1.5 pixels because we don't want a much of letter spacing right now 
and yeah after this i will be giving it some top margin because i want to make my button more highlighted it's a uh, clickable thing and uh, so i would uh, like to give this a margin of top of uh, 20 pixels so that it uh, just pops on our web page so that people want to click it so after this uh, um, yeah it, it's enough uh, or let us uh, just make it hover or something or let us keep this it for now so we are done with our html we are done with our stylings now it's time to uh, just jump on javascript and make our animation for our text so first of all i will be moving to javascript file and as we have already connected our javascript file to my html file i can simply start coding on it so first of all i will be bringing my text that i want to uh animate so i will be saying constant text is equals to and after saying this i will be using this document and uh, query selector okay query selector and here i will be giving the name of the class yeah and then okay first of all let us console it and let us see if everything is fine or not so i will be simply doing this and yeah then i will be moving to my node tools developer tools and here in the console okay we are able to see my div which i have just console so we can remove it and now we will, we want positions so we want the position of our web page so first of all we will be having the position of our text from the top okay now why we want this uh, it's uh, simple we want some task to be happened when it uh, okay uh, suppose you are on the top okay and right now you want to see the animation so it's practically impossible okay because your text is very much uh, it's like in the other portion of your web page so of course you you are not able to see the uh, image properly or you can you can't even see the text so when you will be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling then one point will be coming after which you can easily see your text so you want the animation to be happened when you have your screen to be here okay because when you are able to see the first word you can okay feel that uh, okay something has been animated on this page and you want this uh, user to give a better U ux uh, experience and that's why we use all these stuff so if user is not able to see the stuff then it's no no need to give the animation and that's why we will be having the height so that we are able to know so that we are able to know that at which point the text is zero from the top yeah we want the height so that we can know that at which position our text is zero from the height and the same thing we will be doing here so i will be having the position and then we will be selecting this text because we want to animate it only so we will be saying that okay we will be here using one uh, function which is get be a bounding client red and we want the top position so what it will be doing it will be giving us the position of our text from the top of our screen and as as soon as this position is zero our text will be visible to us so i guess it's uh, fine that why we have used it so when i will be saving it and yeah let us now check it out so i will be console log and 
after we will be just printing the position so it will be make more sense now so let us save this let us move to our uh, developers tool and yeah right now you can see the value 804 as soon as i start scrolling okay let me uh, be at this position and let me refresh it so right now it's now 422 uh, i will be scrolling it much more now it will be 440 uh, what 411 now let us see so it's 332 so as we are moving downwards the height is decreasing because the text is coming nearer to the top now again we will be giving this and uh, yeah right now it's uh, 282 so we gave this a uh, more it's 243 now let me show this hole and yeah it's 62 so as soon as it comes over here it's almost zero so this is why we uh, called this function and we get the top value of this whole diff which was this uh, header this paragraph and this button and that was wrapped under the div with name text and so we call that function on our text and we got the top value so it simply gives us the uh, uh, height between our top margin screen to the text so now after getting the top height i want this uh, to be constant i want one more position and now we want the whole windows position so i will be getting the screen position basically so we will be using screen position and yeah here we will be saying window dot uh, in our height and yeah that's it so what this will be doing let us console this again console log is here in screen position so right now we have this uh, 181 will be the height of our text from the margin and this 293 is the height of our screen so it doesn't change on scrolling every time you will be getting a height of 293 so now what is the use of these both value okay now let us consider let us close this okay and let us consider you are on the uh, first uh, uh, first panel of the page okay where first session of the page which is our header session and uh, right now you are not able to see the text and you don't want to see the animation also as soon as you scroll the height of the text will start decreasing first the height was around 300 something but as soon as you scroll it decreases 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 and at one point it reaches to zero uh, zero means uh, zero centimeter or pixels i mean so now you want that animation should begin when my screen height gets greater than my text height from the top so what we will be doing let us remove all this stuff and yeah let us create a event listener so i will be creating a add event listener and yeah i want on scroll this property so i will be saying on scroll and uh, let us simply uh, make here one function oh, oh what it's doing here so it's a function and let us uh, just uh, get these all things over this function and yeah okay now if the screen position is greater than my position then you have to give this a class name and uh, you can simply say that text dot class list text dot class list dot add 
and here you can simply give this a name of like active or something so what this will uh, how this will help us so we will be moving to our style.css file and here this text will be having a opacity of 0 will be having a the transform okay transform translate x to be 30 pixels and we will be having here a transition of uh, suppose um, um, first of all all two second and let us get this is in out and yeah after this now let us save this and let us see so we are not able to see our text but as soon as i will be giving this an active class and let me select these two properties opacity and transform ctrl plus c and ctrl plus v and let me give this one and this as zero pixels so you are able to okay let's uh, make this uh, minus instead of plus so now let's move here let's just refresh it and let us see this so uh, you can see that now when I, I'm scrolling too much but uh, nothing is happening so to make it a continuous process you can add here a edge part and uh, here you can just uh, copy this paste it and uh, you can save remove so agar position zada badi hai screen position se then it will add the active class and if the position is uh, smaller than the screen position then it will remove the active part so now let me just refresh it and if i'm scrolling i am able to see the text and yeah it's in a continuous form right now so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new out of it so please stay tuned with coda creatives and till then peace out